This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Japanese no actors could tilt their heads up and down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. This mask was used in the traditional Japanese no theater. I think it represents a demon or oni. There's a price tag. Looks like this one is a replica. Silk fan. Could have been used by a villager or a noble, maybe. It's a gun by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. a U.S. Marine. Were they on the island in force or just an advance party? Do these marks represent friends lost or enemies killed? Either way, he needed a drink. A kind of mortar and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. This coin probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid-19th century. An Edo period coin minted in the late 17th century. It could have come from any number of old wrecks on this island. Some kind of soldier's identity tags. They don't recognize the kanji. Were these used during World War II? Used in traditional Japanese herbal medicine, or kampo. <laughs> Looks like this vial has been sealed for many years. These are probably maitake mushrooms, used to boost the immune system, also known as dancing mushrooms. Hmm. Someone looked at this picture many times. It's been folded and unfolded repeatedly. He never returned home. This island has taken so many lives. It's burdock, a root traditionally used in campo to fight inflammation. American soldiers would never have left these behind. I don't think any of them made it out of here alive. This might be Yuan Dynasty. Could it be from Kubla Khan's lost fleet? Oh wait, it's a fake. Made in China. <laughs> Japan, traditional men's garments had no pockets. Inro were miniature containers used to hold personal effects, like an ancient form of wallet.
In row are usually lacquered wood, but this one's made of brass. Probably dates from the 19th century. The inside of this in row smells like tobacco. Perhaps this was used as an ancient cigarette case. A Ming Dynasty jade figurine. But this one looks genuine. This Inro was probably used by a military commander to carry official orders and seals. Old lacquered Inro contains writing implements and dried ink, likely the possession of a court scribe or historian. It's a ceremonial drinking vessel from the Song Dynasty. <sighs> Beautiful craftsmanship. Looks to be early 18th century. I remember black silk fans were used when conducting funeral rites for nobles. A fan made for a special occasion, probably a wedding. Hmm, doesn't look older than a few years. This Chinese dagger is extremely old. Dad had a similar one in his collection, dating from 854 BC. An ancient Chinese dagger, probably around 100 AD. How long have ships been crashing on this island? This is fairly modern, perhaps 18th century. The gold carp carving was designed to contrast with the black lacquer finish. Blood stains. Someone used this knife recently. This was used by scribes of the Chinese royal court. A small engraving indicates this was the possession of an imperial ambassador. Was this actually used as a headrest, or was it part of a larger statuary set? I'll research it if I ever get out of this place. Hmm. Singed around the edges. What happened to your owner? There's a name on the tag. Millie. Where have all the children gone? Another name, carved faintly into the wood. Coco. This one seems shaped to be slightly more comfortable. There's a picture of two girls. This wallet belonged to a father. The names on the picture, Millie and Coco. I found their toys. What happened to this poor family? The date reads May J6, which is 1873. One side is worn down, as if it was rubbed repeatedly. 
Maybe this was a soldier's good luck coin. This is a Tempo Suho. Hard to read the date, but Japan made thousands of these in the mid 1800s. Portuguese minted these in the 16th century for their colony in Malacca, Malaysia. This must have come from one of the old galleon wrecks. Shit. Were these gifts for the ancient rulers of Yamatai? Or was there some kind of battle here? Chinese earthenware is thousands of years old. Could they have visited this island before the rise of Yamatai? I've seen similar artifacts on the Ban Jain site in Thailand. How did this get all the way to Yamatai? Satsuma porcelain vase, probably early Edo period. 